Good morning everyone. It's day two here in Las Galeras in the Dominican Republic and we're just heading out now to do a boat tour which is pretty much the main thing to do here. It's the most like famous activity and we just got to head to the beach here, the main beach which I haven't shown yet. It's called uh, Playa Grande and we're gonna meet the boat guy there and then we'll be on our way and it's gonna cost a thousand five hundred pesos per person and I think he actually takes us to another beach as well, so it's a two beach tour. So this is the main beach here that I was talking about, Playa Grande. Beautiful beach, a lot bigger than the one that we visited in the last video. The one that we went to last time, Playita, is just around there, around the corner. But yeah, this one looks amazing. That's why it's called Playa Grande, big beach. Looks like we're going to have good weather today as well. Yeah, there are some clouds, but I think it opens up for most of the time. I hope so. I hope it will stay like that. <laughs> yeah, better than the last time we tried going to go into yeah. the beach. I guess these are all the boats for the boat tours, all the little motorboats. This is the beach that we've arrived at, Fronton, and this is what I was talking about in the last video. It's like Southeast Asia, look at this, the limestone cliffs, just like El Nido in the Philippines. <laughs> Incredible. We didn't know the Caribbean had places like this, right? No, no, it was a surprise when we saw the pictures, and yeah, now it's even better than the pictures. Yeah, and the water as well, look at that. So we're just trying to find a, a spot to sit at. It's basically a deserted beach, so there's no bars, no restaurants or anything. The only main problem is the same problem that you get throughout the Caribbean now, which is that you have the sargassum. So there's loads of sargassum here, especially since it's deserted, nobody cleans it up. And that's kind of like plagued the Caribbean, even the Riviera Maya in, um, in Mexico. I think it's been around for like the last, uh, what is it, like four or five years? Yeah, I think so, or even more than that, six years, I don't know. But yeah, it's an issue because the, the beach is so beautiful and the water seems to be clean, but there's the, 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 the algae. The seaweed, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so even in the water here, it kind of like makes it not clear anymore. That's what happened in the Riviera Maya in Mexico. But I am loving these limestone cliffs. Yeah, besides that, like I said, it just looks like we're in Southeast Asia.
so I think back here as well there's some points where there's like uh, like caves and stuff if you go down the trails at the back might check it out later on yeah maybe this will be our spot here with some natural shade we don't have uh, an umbrella want a fresh coconut? yes please <laughs> definitely not fresh I bet there is some fresh ones around here though that looks like a green one over there and I think you can uh, camp here right? yeah we saw some people camping over there but uh, we're not, not sure how they did it or they, maybe they just talked with the locals I don't know how, how can you do it yeah probably just the boat guy brings you and you're allowed to stay overnight yeah, I guess so yeah there's like some picnic tables stuff like that I'm not sure what the safety is like here though because um, like the guy the boat guy just told us now he said if we were going over to the other side there's like a little hidden beach over there he said to not take all the camera gear or we have to go with him or something so yeah that's kind of weird and there's also a trail here you don't have to do the boat tour here there's a trail that's like an hour and a half um, two hours so you come from somewhere over there I think there's one trail that comes over the rocks and then there's one that um, comes like down the coast which is a lot longer but then yeah a lot of reviews said there's issues with like robberies and stuff so yeah I guess they do have those issues here some people say that the locals exaggerate the robberies so that uh, you do the boat tours right you spend the money so I'm not sure what's true but we did see some reviews from people saying that they did get get robbed doing the trail do this little trail here I'm not even sure if it's a trail oh that's a nice flower I saw a picture and there was a cave I'm not sure if it's exactly on this beach though but yeah we'll find out man look at all these old shells of coconuts everywhere hopefully there's nothing lurking around here <laughs> Yeah, I want to get over that way, but I don't see a path. I think this looks like a path, right? It looks like there's something man-made here. For water, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it goes deep. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is for water. Man, this is completely like El Nido though. If you watch that video where we went to an island called Pinagbuyatan, it's actually our most viewed video. It was kind of like this, like when we went inside. <laughs> yeah, so here's a better look at the, the rocks. I really didn't know they had these like limestone rocks in the Caribbean. Amazing. Yeah, I'm not sure if the cave's around here. This ain't even a path, I'm just walking through the jungle now. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any caves. <laughs> Man, it's so damn humid. Birds sound cool though. Alright, let's head back. <laughs> yeah, this, this definitely wasn't the trail.
we come to the opposite corner of the beach now and we rented this snorkel before i think it was around 250 pesos we just got the one to share and he said over there it's dangerous where we were before so yeah we got to go to this spot here and there should be some corals and stuff apparently Carol's turn. Watch out for the sea urchins. There's a lot. Got more boat tours arriving now. Carol is now a sargassum woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Am I a mermaid or something? <laughs> <laughs> In all the photos, it was without sargassum, right? Yeah. So. I'm not sure if it's only like this part of the year or something. Like seasonal. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we just got unlucky. Still trying to remove the sargassum? Yeah. Oh, oh. it's everywhere. Uh huh. Over here as well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So there's quite a lot of corals, but not that many fish. There's just a few. It's kind of tiring as well because the water's so strong today. Loads of waves out there hitting the, the corals, so kind of hard to swim. And also the mast kind of sucked because the snorkel doesn't have anything to connect it to the mast, so you have to hold it the whole time. So yeah, that's tiring. That's the problem when you rent masts. Uh, there's so many times we do boat tours and the masts are crappy, but at least water didn't enter the mast. So yeah, that was good. It's a lot nicer on this side because at least there's a bit of clear water so i think normally it would look like this everywhere but yeah right now you got this going on maybe it is seasonal i'm not sure still beautiful though Right, beach exploration mission number two. Carol's gonna stay back once again. That's the difference between us. I'm always like, I wanna walk over there. I wanna walk over there. I wanna walk over there. And she's like, I wanna chill. <laughs> uh, I should probably brought some flip flops or something, but don't seem too bad. Pretty cool, the, the rocks here are like uh, black. Oh, you get some nice views here though. So on this side, it's kind of like a pebble stone beach, I guess. Nobody really comes here. But there isn't that much sargassum here, so yeah, the water is really clear. Actually looks better to swim here. But yeah, look at those landscapes. I'm loving it. South Southeast Asia, we're back.
so I think we've got about 15 minutes left. We arrived here at about 10 o'clock and we're going to be leaving like 12.45 so they give us a good amount of time. And then I think the next beach uh, is not, not as long but yeah I think we'll still have like 45 minutes an hour. And the next one is, is it Playa Madama? I think so. Playa Madama, I think that's what it's called. Dogs can do the tour. Got some doggos. Meet Lulu. Lulu. The abandoned. Dog. She, she enjoyed the beach. Yeah, she did. <laughs> So we're back at the beach in town, Playa Grande, the one that I showed at the beginning. He passed by the other beach, but it was full of algae. I'm pretty sure they already they already knew that. So he said they wouldn't be able to stop there. And we did pay for the tour that was um, two beaches. There is a there is the option to just do the taxi boat to to just front on for cheaper. They charged us for two beaches, but we only visited one. But yeah, it, it is what it is. We still even tip them anyway. But yeah, I thought that was a bit cheeky of them i'm pretty sure they knew before we went that they couldn't visit that beach because yeah the algae the algae was huge it must have been like that for for weeks or something but not a big deal because this main beach here is absolutely beautiful water's a lot nicer than those beaches on the tour anyway so yeah this is a good place to hang out it's kind of bizarre though this is the main beach in town and there's literally just me and carol on the beach I don't think there's anybody on the, the whole beach stretch. Completely empty. This place in general is super deserted. So on the main strip, there's loads of like restaurants and stuff, but the the majority are closed. So I'm not sure if that's like businesses that failed during COVID. I mean, there's barely any tourists here now and Dominican Republic's wide open. Like you can come here, you don't need to do a COVID test or, or anything. You can just come here, so. Yeah, just bizarre. I didn't expect it to be this empty. So I was just saying about how empty this place has been, Las Galeras. Yes, I think Las Galeras is the emptiest one in the peninsula of Samana. I think there's uh, the main city, Samana, and then there's uh, Las Terenas, which, which is the place we might go after. Yeah, I think we will go, right? Yeah, and I think I there is uh, more touristy, but I think it will be still like laid back like here. Not as much as here, but still a nice vibe. Yeah, I think the I think the peninsula is pretty laid back overall. Yes, because I think most of the tourists just go to Punta Cana, which is the most famous place in the country, and that, that's why we are loving it here because it's very empty and laid laid back as well and beautiful. Yeah, and we're still planning on checking out Punta Cana anyway, just to see how it is. Yeah, because I guess if you come to the Dominican Republic, you have to go to Punta Cana. It might have the big problem with the sargassum right now if these beaches are up here. 
and we just noticed that there's a little island over there it actually looks like you could probably a kayak there it looks really close you can see some palm trees on it so yeah i'll probably fly over there as usual and check it out Nice and salty. <laughs> Lick my knees. <laughs> yeah, we're heading out of the beach now. Really nice hotel here. Check this out. It's called Todo Blanco because it is all white. Huge hotel. Right on the beach too. And then right next to it, it seems like you got a, like a beach bar here. At uh, sunset time, they play volleyball here, the locals, right? Yeah, we saw it yesterday. Yeah, they were playing volleyball, so... Seems like one of the local hangout spots. It's pretty nice. A nice place to have a drink, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. And they have food as well. Caipirinhas. Caipirinhas. Brazilian drink. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about before. This is like the main street. But it's always pretty much uh, like a ghost town. Never really many people walking around. So I ended up picking up uh, 10 bananas. That was 100 pesos. Make some more milkshakes. Got banana trees there, look. <laughs> Could have grabbed some here instead for free. The banana thief. We're back at our villa now, called La Junglita, Jungle Villa. If you didn't watch uh, yesterday's video, the last video, we did like a, a room tour. It's really a really cool spot here. Got this beautiful nature. It's actually getting really windy now. There's supposed to be a storm tomorrow, so we're not going to be able to do anything. And because of the wind, the mangoes all keep falling on the ground. So yeah, there's like mangoes everywhere. <clears throat> that one looks like okay to eat even. <laughs> But they're scattered all around. Yeah, so we won't be doing anything tomorrow because of the storm and I'm pretty burned from today anyway. But I think the day after that we'll film a final video here. We're gonna be heading to a beautiful beach. I think that's supposed to be the nicest beach here called uh, Rincon, something like that. So yeah, we're gonna head there. So stay tuned for that video. If you like this one, just drop a like as always to help support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.